Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building with Sausage. This is Mythical Sausage here. Hello, what is up everybody? Man, we are back again doing another cool tutorial. This was going to be fun. We're going to be actually making a starter survival house that you can literally build on your first day in this world. And it's going to be super cool, super simple. And here are the dimensions. Look how cool. That's so easy. <laughs> Let's flip and we're going to show you. So right there is the dimensions of this build. We're going to be using just the most primary blocks. This is what I'm going to be using from the area I just spawned in. So right here we got birch and we got oak. And you know what? I hardly ever use birch, but we're going to be using the stripped birch log. Not the regular stripey one, but the stripped one. But we're using all the oaks, all the birches, and that's what we're going to be using. Which is really cool. This is what we have right in the area. So I love it. So... We're also using our boy Germs and Boys pack. So if you guys want to download that pack, uh, there's going to be a link in the description. Go check it out. It's amazing. My favorite vanilla pack. Uh, but you know what? Let's start this up right now. So super simple. Uh, we're just going to be starting. Let's start right here in this corner. So what I'm thinking about back here is going to be the main structure of the house. Okay. Right here is going to be like a little, uh, I'm going to have a way in uh, to the uh, bottom where we're going to have this on stilts. So it's going to be elevated a little bit, but on the bottom, we're going to have uh, all the stuff you need in order to uh, do crops. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have it down there secure and on the bottom part and I'm going to have a stairwell going up. But let's start this up. So for now, let's start on the back end. So this is where the house is going to go. I'm going to go up by four. Okay, so this is a one right here. So two, three, four. That's it. And then a space of three. One, two, three, and four. What? Right there, four. <laughs> a space of three. One, two, three, four. Space of three. One, two, three, and a four. Space three again. One, two, three, four. Another space of three and a four. So we have this is going to be the main structure of the house. Okay. Now, for this one, I'm going to do a quick uh, cross beams here. And then we'll do a little stair up right here in the middle. But let's start this up. So I'm going to cross beam right here on all of these. So let's connect every single one of these guys right here. Cross this two. Cross this here. Cross beam here and a cross beam here with our oak. Perfect. Okay, now watch this. Let's grab our oak stairs. I'm gonna go here with a little stairwell going up, so upside downs and regular, going straight up and see if we can meet up right at the tippy top, right here. And one more upside down stair, and we're meeting right there. Perfect. So that's our way up right there. Look at cool. Okay, now let's do this. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna lift this up as well. So let's go up here. One, this is a two, three, four, and let's do another cross beam. Okay, one, two, three, and a four, another cross beam, and connect those again. So then that is gonna be a little under way in to the little crop area we're gonna have down here. Okay, perfect. Now, let's also grab uh, some trap doors, and we're gonna be using the spruce trap door for this one. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna take this out for a second. Let's put the spruce trap door right here, and let's cover this up so you don't have to see any of those stairs as you go up to the side right there, perfect. So we have that blocked off. And then over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. So let's go right here. And let's cover all of this up right about that. there, okay? But you know what? Let's actually do this so we can match this up. Let's cross beam here and let's take this up. So we're going to meet up there and that's going to be your little stair to get up and perfectly secure. And you're already up to the tippy top right here. Perfect. Okay, so we'll work on the bottom part uh, last. So let's go for now on the top. So let's put a flooring. Uh, for this one, I'm going to go with... Uh, let's go with the uh, oak, regular oak slab, and I'm just gonna go, just like I fell, I'm fine. <laughs> let's go back up. So I'm gonna go right here, just put oak slab, cover all this up with oak slab. It looks a lot better with oak slab than full blocks, especially from the bottom. The top, you can't even tell. But on the bottom, you get all these little extra details I like that, it looks so good. So let's leave that just like this. So this is your base right now. Okay, perfect. Now, next up, let's start lifting up for the actual house. So let's lift this up here. Let's go from here. Let's go up one, two, three, and four again. So right here, we're gonna go up one, two, three, and four again. Cross beam this, so we have this little square in the middle, okay. Take another space of three. Wherever you see any of these exposed logs, let's just take it up by four and cross beam. Just like that. Super simple. So up by four, cross beam, up by four, cross beam right here, up by four, cross beam, and then cross everything else right around here. And I'm going to have to trim this tree a little bit. Uh, for now, let's just take a little bit off the side right here. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll modify that later to make it pretty. All right. So we have this. And now over here as well. This part, though, this is what I'm thinking about. Out here, I want to do like a little uh, balcony kind of thing. So I'm just going to take this up by one on each side. That's it. Okay. I'm going to grab our um, the birch fences. And I'm going to just do this. Let's just ring around that just like so. And that's going to be a little outside porch area right there. Perfect. Okay. Now, 
Next up, what I want to do is let's grab the birch, and this is going to be the birch strip logs. I'm going to be mixing the birch strip logs with the birch planks, okay, for the uh, main section of the house. So for now, uh, we're going to put a door right in the middle, okay? So let's just mix this. So this is what I like doing at the beginning. Let's just put all birch like this and a little upside down of birch. But now, let's switch some stuff up with the birch log, but not this one. Let's actually switch it to this one the one without any of the edges see this one has uh no edges on it no exposed log side so let's just do random placement maybe something like that might look pretty good okay this is what i'm gonna do let's go ahead and swing all these around and this is gonna be another door right here but then let's do it just like we did again right here we're just gonna mix these up randomly turn to different angles there we go so just like that look how cool that looks okay so this one i'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cover this one up. Let's just cover all of these. I'm gonna put windows, but let's just cover all of them up first so I can just play around with the texturing of this section. So we're just gonna cover it all up like this. Okay, now let's play around with the texture. So let's do something like this, like that, maybe one sideways, so one like that. That looks good. And then I'm gonna pop in, let's actually pop a window right here. Let's do two ups, uh, an upside down and a regular stair like that. Oh, it looks so good. Uh, I'm gonna put another one here, bam, and then let's play around. Let's put one here, there, and there. That looks so good. Uh, let's see, on this one, uh, you know what? I really wanna put a little fireplace on one of these, so let's, let's do this. I'm gonna put a window here. Let's put a window here, right there. Let's take our little, there we go. Oh, let's just switch maybe that one sideways. There we go, something like that. Oh, I don't know, that might be too much. Uh, let's put it back. Uh, there we go, maybe there. Okay, good, good, good. You don't want to make it too patterny, just make it look pretty cool. Now for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little fireplace kind of thing here, or a little ch uh, the, the chimney action. So uh, for this one, let's actually get rid of this one. Let's get rid of this one. I'm gonna come in here and let's bring in some, so it's just cobble, okay? So make it easy, let's just get cobble right here. It's a regular cobble. Uh, let's get some stair and let's get some slab and let's get a little cobble wall in there. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. Let's go lift this up lift this cobble up like this and then i'm gonna take it out just remember i'm gonna take it out from here but leave it there for now okay and then we'll pop it out after uh but for now that's looking pretty good i might even take it out one more here uh just so we can have a little bit of an overhang so let's go something like that okay right there uh let's put a full block here a full block here let's put a stair here actually let's put a stair here and a stair right th tree thank you like that okay and then let's lift this up a little bit so one two and three let's take it out one more just so we know we're gonna put a little pop-up right there and that just looks really nice so it's not gonna go all the way to the bottom but you know that there's a little fireplace there and the extension is really good we can even take this out and we'll work on a little pattern there later but remember there's gonna be a little fireplace there okay cool now next up let's actually do one little level up here one more okay just so we can make it look a little cooler and then you really don't need this but i'm gonna put a little fence right there just to add a little more detail okay cool now let's work on a little roof so for the roof i'm gonna be mixing in the oak and the um the birch one more time so let's actually bring back the birch Oh man, I never would have thought I would say that in my, in my life, but I love this birch on Jeremy Pack. It's looking pretty cool. Okay, so uh, let's bring all the birches back. Okay, perfect. So what I'm thinking about is doing a uh, birch outer border and a uh, uh, oak inner border. So that the out outside part is gonna be um, the birch. So let's do a birch right here. So I'm thinking about going from this way, this way. So watch this, let's go here with a little pop out. I'm gonna take it all the way down, like so, Bam. okay? Let's come over here, we're probably gonna have to tweak this again. This is fine. Uh, let's go all the way down, just like so. Take it down to this direction, right here. Excuse me, I'm gonna trim this tree off, you watch. Uh, and then it pops out one on each side, just like this, super simple. Now, let's do right here, I'm gonna put a stair facing inward, stair facing inward. We're gonna put a full block on both sides like this. We're gonna put another stair of birch right here, one on this side. Let's also face them inward like this. I'm gonna put a full block on both sides, and then we're gonna put stair here, stair here, stair here, and a stair there. So that's our roof, our simple roof. I love it, it looks so nice, it looks so, so good. Now, let's do it on this side as well. So let's go with planks, I mean, so, so stairs facing this way. Full blocks on both sides, stairs on both ends. Upside down again, we're repeating the same pattern. Full block again, stairs.
stair and stair and upside down stair there and a stair right here perfect so let's look at that looking very cool now let's just grab our oak and we're just going to run a line all the way down let's also put a stair all the way down this way and we're just going to connect everything together and it's looking pretty cool i like this so going down like this and then let's go ahead and do the other side so full block full block here stairs going all the way down full block going all the way this way and we were just filling in this little uh roof pad it's super simple uh now for this one i'm gonna go ahead and get slab i'm just gonna take it all the way down like so just like that and we have a little roof going now this is not the end this is so simple if you want to end it like that man you don't ah man i wouldn't want to let's do something else with this so for now let's also lift this up right here i'm gonna lift this up the two up so right here if you count from this level where the stair is this is a one a two Oh, hold on, uh, it's too dark. One, uh, stair. One, two, three, four, five. And now six, seven, eight, nine, and nine is good. Now, I'm gonna grab some wall, get some cobble wall, and we're gonna put the wall right here and right there, and then we're gonna grab our slab of cobble, and we're just gonna go ahead and drop this here and there. So cool. Now, just to add a little bit of detail, just a tad, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and some of these we're gonna replace with just some broken stairs like this. So it kind of looks like it's, see, it's kind of wearing down a little bit. I'm gonna even do one over uh, here, upside down, just randomly, just a couple. That's it, nothing else to it. So that looks really, really cool on that side. All right, perfect. Now I do have to trim a little of that tree because you don't want that tree to catch on fire or anything. So let's trim a little bit of that tree right here. It's okay, we'll, we'll, we'll trim it as we go. But I think that looks like a good trim job. Pretty decent trim job right there. Okay, now, we're doing all right. Now, let's go over here uh, over here on this side. And I'm going to grab these logs, okay? I'm going to put a log right here on this side and a log right here on this side. And we're going to grab a log and we're going to go down like this. So we're going to connect all that with just regular log. And then we're going to do uh, a little bit of... Uh, window action over here, but it's uh, we're gonna pretty much repeat what we're doing here. So something very small like that. That's it. That's all there is to it. It's just a tiny little window. Let's go over here on this side. Do it one more time. We're gonna go right here. One, two. One, two. And we're gonna come down from the bottom and then put another little birch there right there. Super easy. Super simple. Now watch this. Let's grab some trap door and we're gonna incorporate this trap door here again. So we're gonna put a little trap door right here on this little bottom piece, another one right here, all right? We're gonna put one right here, right here, and one more right there. That looks awesome, and then we're gonna completely cover this up in trap doors. Look how cool that is. I love that. So we still see the wood in the little border, but we have that little trap door border, and we have also some right here on this section, just to give a little support right here. So let's actually do another one there, another one there, another one there and then we're gonna repeat that so one here and here on this corner and we're gonna cover this up in trap doors just like this oh I love that I love what that, oh, that looks another trap door here so we're gonna keep putting these on all these sections that have the logs coming all the way around it's looking very cool just little supports to that area looks very very nice now I'm gonna add a little more now I want to put a little overhang over this section just because it looks like it needs it because if I want to go ahead and hang out in this house but I want to be outside I don't want to get wet I want a little bit of an overhang so let's go ahead and do that uh, so for this one I'm just gonna grab our birch right there and we're gonna go ahead and do a little uh, extension job so right here let's just bring this down all the way down all the way down like so and we're just gonna connect it to that here I'm gonna grab a wall and then I'm gonna put a wall here here and then I'm gonna bring up that birch one more time so it gives it even extra a little bit of an extra support right there to that and that looks so cool I love that that is awesome okay now we're not done uh, let's grab some doors and I'm thinking about just bringing in the good old oak door for this guy. And then for windows, uh, let's see, glass. I'm gonna go ahead, just go with plain glass. No color to it, there's a bunch of options you got in Jeremy Pack, but I'm just gonna go with plain glass. And we're gonna put the door here, door here. We're gonna put the plain glass there, there, and there. Now, we have some stuff to do up here. Look at this, plenty of space for stuff. So let's go right here on the inside. I'm gonna grab these slabs again. Let's put slabs all the way. Actually, let's go. I'm gonna put the slab, ooh, you know what? Let's just put it right here, right here on this level. 
right here on this level right there and let's also cover this up now we got to figure out where we want a way up so i'm thinking maybe right here in this corner we could put a ladder right there and i don't want to put a stair because then you waste a lot of space uh, so put a little ladder right there okay now one thing i really want okay in this build is I want some side windows because this window's nice. Uh, let's actually break this for a second. You know what'll be better? Let's put the windows here. I think the window there might be even better. We can put it on both sides, but I kind of see how it is on the inside. I like having my windows uh, eye level. Uh, so we can put it actually right there to look a little better. Uh, but you can put it the other way if you want. But let's drop those glass in here on each side. Now, we definitely need to put, I want to put a little feature right up here. So I'm thinking we have options here. We have options. We can either put one big window in the middle, okay? Or we could put just one window on one side, or we could do double window, one window here and one window here. I think what will make this uh, building pop even more is having uh, two windows, one on each side. So to do this, uh, let's just count. I think one window, uh, and we don't want them too close together. Maybe, let's see, let's pop one here. So a space of one, two, three, and there. And then over here we go a space of one, two, three, and there. And I think that might be the best Play C. Actually, no. Let's take them one this way, one this way. Pop that back. Okay, this gives us the most clearance and most ability to put details in between, I think. Uh, so, space of one, two, and a hole. <laughs> space of one, two, and a hole. Okay, now, if we're going to do a hole right there, let's see how we can do this. Mm, we can even make them two and three. Let's see. Actually, we're doing it right there. So, let's space of two and then a three gapper middle space space of three all right let's do that so i'm gonna knock all of these down here we're gonna leave this space just like that that's perfect then i'm gonna grab this log i'm gonna go up by two up by two up by two up by two we're gonna grab our uh, birch i'm gonna put the birch here 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 we're gonna put one here 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 and I'm gonna grab a slab, put it there and there. Let's get rid of the back part here so it can be connected into one line of birch. We have that there. And then right here and right there, we have our window. That is awesome. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, pick these up here with two windows. Oh, that looks so cool. Now, let's go to the other side. Let's do it together. Now, for this, we can only do one because we do have the fireplace here. So, let's do it right now. Let me just do it real fast. All right, and there you go. Super simple. We got a window here. We got a window there. We got our fireplace right there in the back. Oh, this is looking so good. Now, next up, let's work on a little farm on the bottom. This is going to be super simple, so this is how we're going to do it. Let's grab this fence again, all right? And we're going to fence this part up right here, 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 and here. And we have this area, so it's safe. And mobs will not get in there, okay? Now, this is what we're going to do. Let's put a gate uh, also right there. Let's grab that. So I'm gonna put this here, this here, and a gate in the middle. So that's how we're gonna get in there. And then let's go, Bow. here we go. So super simple. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing is we're gonna put all this here, this whole area into a little crop section. And then back here, we're gonna put a little section for storage. And this is how we're gonna do it. Uh, so we can leave it, uh, we can actually leave it open if we want, but we can take this little piece out here. And then let's just grab, you can do slabs, you can do full block, it doesn't matter at this point. You can just cover this up right here. And I'm thinking about closing this in. Uh, we can actually, let's do, uh, I'm thinking about closing this in. Let's just do this. I'm gonna put this down like so, okay? Uh, on this side, let's grab these trap doors that we were using, and then we can actually seal them up with trap door on this side, just so we can keep that same look to it. We could do that. That looks really good. Actually, how about if we put it on the inside? Let's put it on the inside. So we have a little bit of depth to that. That looks cool. So we have that on the inside and then here uh we could do a little stair and then we have a little way inside right here let's go ahead and put some storage here let's do some chests check no chests there we go and then we could do a little storage right here watch this there we go super simple just chests on chests we can even put some right there actually we can make them double just so it'll look oh, hold on this is a little tricky now come on 113 hold on it's a little trip. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's cool. And then we can close this off. And we have double chests of storage right there. You can even put a crafting bench over here. You can drop it right here. And that's pretty good. And then you can even put a furnace under there if you wanted to. So we have all the space for stuff right there.
Oops, there. There we go. And we can do two things. We can either put a door, which will look pretty cool, or you can put a fence gate. I think a door will probably look a little better. And we have a little shed right there underground. It's so cool. All right, now, really quick. All you need to do now is just lay down crops, put a little water in certain spots. Uh, I'm thinking if we're gonna do water, we could do one in here. We could do another one in the middle right there, which is technically centered to that point, and we could do another one, boom, right there, centered to that. So let's put a little water. And then another thing you could do, actually, this is a cool feature for 113. Uh, if you grab a piece of wood, you throw it right here on the side. We can waterlog that block, and that go, goes and just, uh, it gets everything hydrated, and you can walk over it, and you don't have to worry about anything. So we can do that. We can do it out of anything. I'm gonna just go ahead and put it out of the wood, since that's what we have, but you can do it out of any stair you want. So uh, let's do it just like that. I'm gonna put them on the same angle as that. So let's go like this, and then you waterlog that. That's super cool. And then let me just go ahead and, and hoe all this up, put some crops, uh, add some lighting. I'll be right back with you guys. We're almost done. Okay, real fast. Let me put this here there. All right, and we're done with the crop field. Let's check it out. It's super simple. Oh, man, that's so good. <laughs> These uh, are so high up, too. I love the uh, the wheat texture in this bag. So we got plenty of access right here and all this right around there. I think that's all you need for a starter spot right there. And also, look at this. I, I ended up just terraforming a little bit right here uh, but I want to add a little bit of a step up to get up to this section since we have a little bit of a hill here and I also want to seal this part off too just to give it extra uh, um, just uh, support uh, uh, from all the mobs that are coming at night and trying to kill you uh, so let's let me, let me see what we got here so right here at this edge I'm gonna grab some of this slab of our uh, lovely oak and we're just gonna go back here one and uh, two Okay, now I'm gonna grab uh, this log here. I'm gonna go up by two on this, two on this, and then we're gonna just do a slab slope going down just like so, right about there. Perfect. So this goes straight up into this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do from here, let's do another one of those, another one of these. Uh, let's take those up right there by two. Let's go right here by two and one by two. Uh, in between these, I'm thinking about just grabbing another slab and just going like that. Uh, let's also do it right here, a little slab action like this. Uh, and then over here, uh, let's grab this fence. And I'm thinking about fencing this little part right there. So you can only get in from this angle. Uh, actually, right underneath it, let's put uh, more slab. Uh, let's see. So Or four block, whatever. Uh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so we have this way up, this way in here. Now, let's do, once we're here, I want this to be a little bit more protected. Uh, so what if we come over here and right at this edge, right at this angle, let's go up by three right there, okay? Um, and then let's actually, I'm thinking about sealing this off. So what if we grab, put a full block right there, and then let's fence off this here, and let's take this off too, and let's full block that as well. Bam, right there. Uh, we can even extend this angle right there. Let's extend this right around here so it looks a little better. Uh, maybe a little gravel right there. That's perfect. Okay, now look at that. Isn't that look cool? And a little more uh, protected. Um, they could still, the bad guys could still come up here, but we can always uh, put a little defensive perimeter there if you want. But this is looking a lot better. Look at this. Okay, so another little thing we could cap off these with some spruce um, trapdoor. And then one more on that side, just to cap those off. And that is it, that's all we got. Let's check this out. Uh, I was thinking about putting stuff here too. Actually, this might even look a little better. What, okay, really quick, let's, what do you guys think? Fence post there? Yeah, it gives a little bit more protection. And if we're gonna go ahead and do that, might as well go in here and put full block there, 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 and there. Oh yeah, much, much better. Much better. I like that. There we go. We're done. Uh, to add even more, <laughs> we could do a little bit of a bush action right here just to uh, bring it down. Maybe one more right there. Little bush, little hedge action right there. That actually looks a lot better. And we can always add a bunch of extra ones as we go along, but I think right there will make it actually pop a little more. I like that. I like that. But that's it. <laughs> Let's take a quick little spin. Oh, man. This is awesome. Um, this looks a little boxy, but whatever. Leave that tree alone. Uh, let's take a little spin right here. Oh, but that's not all. Guess what? While we were away, 
I did a little interior, so let's see yeah, a little surprise interior job. I know a lot of people love asking for interior. Why don't we just go inside and take a look and see what kind of inspiration we can look forward to. So coming on in right here, little torch action right here, like a mini library with some uh, with, with some chests right here. We got our kitchen on this side. Look how cool. And Jeremy Packy has this really cool painting right here on the side. Looks very awesome. So I love that so much. Uh, but right here, three triple furnace, a cake, a uh, crafting bench. You can do all your things. A little table right there. And I love that kitchen. Out here, you can eat. Have a nice time. Look at this view. You can have your breakfast out here in, <laughs> in this awesome view. I love that little breakfast nook right there. And then we have our ladder to get to the top right here extra storage some bookshelves a little flower pot action we should put a flower let's put uh actually let's put a, 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 a jungle sapling look how pretty <laughs> and then we're coming on in here and we got bedroom right here for two uh just in case if you and your friend you want to hang out here you just want to sleep uh or you, you know you never yeah, you get any random people coming in in this area just wants to sleep up here we got double beds or you can just make it to a single or you can put triple bed do a king size uh if you just like to spread out you know whatever <laughs> but that's it that's all there is to it what do you guys think oh man all right one more spin ah oh, super cool i love this starter house with all my heart mm -mm -mm. look at this oh man it's awesome in this world look at it i want to add a bunch more buildings here all right so i'm out thank you everybody for watching i'm gonna come back with some more builds very very soon but you know what thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next episode of building with sausage see you guys later look at this i love this house oh wow